and that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the thing about Fox, well, he probably does beat Toon Link. Fox just gets cheesed by Fodies every time. He's, he's like, oh, I'm winning. Oh, I'd like. Yeah. Come with immediate dash tag. I don't even need that with a lead into anything because he's, yeah, he's going to jump. But he is trying to uh, trap him, get him to the ledge early. Yeah, that's what Fox does best, man. Yeah, so thing about Fox ledge dropping, though, is that Fox doesn't really get that much damage off of it, unlike other characters like Cloud. But if you can consistently ledge trap, you are going to be getting a lot of damage. Yep, as we're seeing right here. All right. Yeah, but Tooling doesn't, doesn't really have any combo with those, though, so uh -huh. he doesn't have to worry too much about getting grabbed. The bomb slowing his momentum slightly. In that situation where Chun Chun didn't have a jump, uh, you just neutral her. Yeah. And Chun Chun holding on to that ledge for too long. I know it's scary to have Fox right there because of the up tilt, but yeah. definitely uh, definitely reaches below the ledge, so you don't want to get hit by that. Also, a weird thing about Tooling is that even if he saves his jump, the, the moment he up Bs, his jump is forfeit. So he can't even save his jump. Oh. Man, what a character. Yeah. Toon Link, Link, and Greninja both suffer from that. A glitch that they probably didn't realize was in. All right, getting the up tilt. Up tilt being frame three, so it's basically a jab by the shield that leads to everything. And Carter's just kind of running away with this match. He's just running up shielding. He's not really mixing up that much. He's just yeah, a thing getting about in being, Jean's face. Yeah, the thing about being a tether character is that you really have to be aggressive with your aerial so you can actually condition them to start shielding so you can like get those tether grabs. Yeah. But yeah, he's not doing good enough pressure. He's being too floaty. Like, Tooling's being so floaty. Cargo's reaction time is good enough to just punish anything Tooling yeah. to do. Ooh, I thought we were going to see an up smash. And, oh, oh, that was a good recovery, but he just decided to go back off stage. Yeah. All right, Cargo's just going to take advantage of that. Take yeah. game one. So that was so. a strong game one. Like, Chun being only a Tooling main, so I don't think he's going to go anyone else. Yeah. I could see him like maybe switching to a different stage, but I don't know what stage that would be. <laughs> maybe town, maybe town, but yeah, town city. I can see it be a good stage. I mean, oh, oh, okay. I guess lilac. Yeah. Lilac making it probably more trickier to get around the projectile game, and then yeah. Fox himself kind of not really doing good on lilac because mm. he can occasionally side B and miss the ledge. Yeah, and you'd probably look for those punishes. Okay, the uh, empty out. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, Cargo kind of plays the same way, just running up and shielding. Yeah. Waiting for a punish. You can especially just one up shield when Tony has a bomb, because he's not going to grab you. His bomb's doing no shield stun. Mm -hmm. All right, missing foot. <laughs> uh, it's not going to uh, be it, but. Just like game one, a very strong start. Uh, Chun Chun not really getting any time to set up anything. Yeah, that's the thing about Fox, man. He can uh, just overwhelm you with the. Uh, just how good he is up close, and it looks like Jun Jun just kind of having a hard time with that, but yeah. Cargo just ready for these uh, these ledge options. And yeah, I think Jun Jun's picking his ledge options too quickly, and that's probably a result of when he got punched for hanging on so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now he's scared, and now Cargo's just going to read that too. But uh, when it comes to killing Fodies, it can get pretty hard without his jumping. Mm -hmm. So, especially on a stage like Lila, where uh, the tilts can like just slightly just mess you up, Ooh. and Cargo's being impatient now. Yeah, good set up by Tune there. Uh, I don't, I don't like it when he goes back to the ledge, because that's where he's getting pressure the most. Yeah, but he he doesn't really have anywhere to land. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know what, what that was. I, I, I think wow. he maybe tried to go for a pivot grab. I don't know, but yeah, up smash. Just up smash. Yeah. And I mean, Juju kind of bringing this back. He's already at uh, kill percent, so one solid, like maybe bomb fair or F smash will we'll do it. Or up smash. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, yeah, the weak hit, the back, back hit not being strong. All right, that was a good mix up on the shield. Yeah, good pressure on the. Uh, on so Jun Jun's finally like getting the pressure that he needs. Yeah. Cargo getting a little shook. Ooh, yep, there, the, the, like you just said, the Lilac Tilt messed up his uh, recovery. And Jun Jun's just taking full advantage of that. All right, uh, reading the jump. Calls out the jump. So it was back to even. but So Cargo typically was winning the neutral, and Chun Chun would come back with a little bit of rage. Yeah, Chun Chun, but Chun, Chun has a bit of momentum now. And yeah, he's looking a bit more aggressive, so maybe that's what he needed to do from the start because he was kind of just letting Cargo run with it. Yeah. All uh, right, getting a bit of uh, lasers out. It was like four damage. Ooh. We can see what options he can use. Good All right, his boomerang didn't come back yet, so he threw an empty boomerang. 
Now he's getting a little bit combo, but yeah, back to ledge. Hard to combo floaties. Got Fox especially has to get him to a certain percent before he can start up this Yeah, thing. yeah. When I'm starting to see now from Chun Chun, he's just kind of like stuffing out his approaches by just throwing out attacks. Ooh. Ooh. Fair. Not gonna fight. All right. Good. Good three spot to the ledge. It can be hard to do that on Lila. <laughs> All right. That was good pressure using the multi hits. Yeah, he's definitely got to be careful though. Playing patient, not approaching. Oh, did not see that bomb coming yeah. down. Yeah. All right. I think Nope here might actually kill from both characters. But yeah. I think I think Chu Chu's just kind of trying to find a. He's gonna play back. Oh, okay. Well, there it is. Yeah. Uh, cargo air dodging, getting getting the lag from the platform. Yeah. Great adaption from Chun Chun. Um. If there's Dave stupid world, Cargo probably won't go back. Can't go back to Smashville. I can see him going Battlefield though. Yeah. Or Dreamland. I can see. I can see maybe like Town even. Yeah, maybe Town, but that also gives Swim Link lots of space. Like. Uh, yeah, it camp. does. It does. Does Fox up smash if your platform's on? Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, I didn't think so. If it does, it wouldn't be the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. So, but it doesn't really matter. Fox have safe, safe pressure with its 16% up here. Chuchu looking much better from, from game one. Yeah, Chuchu yeah, just, just going for the circle camping. Yeah. But like Fox pressure being how good it is, circle camping isn't only gonna get you gonna get you that much. Yeah. Fox just gonna like shark you from the platform to design. But Cargo has to be really careful with the amount of times he's been shield grabbing. He's mm -hmm. been like now respecting the pressure that Chun Chun's trying to give out. Ooh, that was a bit uh, up air. Yeah, Cargo definitely slowed down his play uh, from from game one and half part of the game two. He's starting to respect Chun Chun like a lot more. Up smash. Oh, Ooh, he just got the untu <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I think he'd be timed it right. There's probably like a frame where Cargo up smash. Okay, Fox being a fast fall, just barely living that. Ooh. I don't know if he wanted a short hop up air, but I think he plays with smash stick, so. Ah, okay. Or maybe he did the manual input and messed it up. Yeah. Ooh, risky option. Yeah, Fox in okay. uh well yeah. I was gonna say kind of in a bad situation, but sneaks in that up smash, so. Alright, Chun Chun has to be the aggressor. Um Doggo at this moment can really just get away with holding chill. Yeah. It's only to back those and really gonna kill yet. Right. Okay. Not they air don't dodging. For not air dodging. A lot of people like to panic when they get hit. Yeah. I don't know why he's shining like that. I know he wants to like, you know, the bomb, but still. Oh, Chun Chun air dodging, getting hit by the back air. Oh my god. I think he's just trying to solve his recovery. Oh. That was really good, but Chun Chun. I Ooh, think, calls that out. I think Chun Chun uh, C-Stick near in that position, which is why he didn't up air. Mm -hmm. But bringing it back with it, I'll smash it with his own. Okay. Ooh. Alright, great neutral air. Don't know about that down air. The thing about the down air though is that it does have a small wind box that can even push like characters in the air. Oh, that's right. I almost forget about that. Yeah, that's probably what he was going for, but like, Cargo just slightly outpaced yeah, it. Just, yeah, just getting punished. Like Cargo, playing the patient, just trying to find the openings he can. All right, there you go. Good shield grab. All right. Uh, Landing with Zero is basically landing with no lag at all because you just get the same lag as if you landed with an empty hop. So that was a uh, good Zero la land. And Chun Chun taking the lead now. Yeah. Right. Good grab to get off, uh, get the pressure off. Yeah, Makuta definitely needs to find a confirm if he wants to. He shouldn't seal really it. be fishing though because Tuning's L Smash would kill even across the stage at this point. That's it. Yep. Yeah. And great adaption from Jun Jun. Yeah. 